Welcome back. We're here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, August 25th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, we have fallen roughly a little bit more than 2% to the downside. We hit the top of the Bollinger Band here and then pulled back. So we can also look at the Fibonacci retracement levels. We can see that the 61.8 is right here, also where the top of the Bollinger Band is. So this should act as quite a lot of resistance. Question is whether or not we fall towards support down here at the 200 moving average or 20 exponential and then continue rallying to the upside. If that is the case, if you get a supportive candle right here, then it's very likely that we'll take out 50K and then head back towards the very highs. Break below here, then the 50 moving average comes into play around 40K and then we'll drop back down to 30K. MACD is crossing the signal line, becoming bearish. The Kassig has become bearish already, and so is the RSI. So, yes, this is a typical move after a massive drop that we rally up towards the 50 or the 61.8 and then continue dropping to the downside. So, let's look at Ethereum. So, Ethereum, very similar here. We've uh, rallied up towards the top of the Bollinger Band up here at 3,355. And then now we have fallen back towards support at the middle of the Bollinger Band. If we break below here, we could drop towards the bottom roughly at 2828. And the 50 moving average is right here, 2533. And the 200 moving average at 2321. So, quite a lot of uh, support underneath. And uh, this is looking far more bullish than Bitcoin, for example, but still it is a very similar trend. We are still pulling back at the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. If we manage to break above here, then it's very likely that we'll go to the very top again, but break below the 200 moving average, then we are dropping back towards, will most likely drop back towards the very lows. MACD is bearish, has been for quite some time. So the CASIC is also becoming bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck and thank you very much.